So, look, I know I shouldn't throw a log on the fire because it's so, it's very hot right now. It is, yeah. Maybe. In L.A. It, it could be, yeah, sure. And I'm thinking that we're going to have to shave the horse. Yeah, we've got to shave the we horse. We've got to shave you. You're going to get overheated. We have to... What, 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 what is it? You're, you're, you, but you're thanking me? You want to be shaved? All of you? <laughs> yeah, we have to, yeah. Shave, does shave the horse co mean code? Yeah, that's a thing, that's a thing, yeah. What, what, is it, what does it mean? I can't say on the air. But it does. Alright, just whisper it. It, it, it involves uh, oats, you take oats. No, all I heard was, this is this is this is this is this is Yeah. Have you ever been shaved before? Did you like it? Did you did you like it too? I've started treating them like individuals, you know, the That's uh, nice. That's respectful. That's yeah, respectful. Yeah, it's respectful. You know, I I feel that, you know, I you know, if I just talk to you then yeah, I'm missing the whole area of Come on, come on around everybody here. <laughs> Oh, right, okay, yeah. This is... <laughs> Which one? Don't do that. No, no, it doesn't look good. Uh, yeah. Which one of these is an actual horse's ass? Raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only fake one. I thought we were going to hold hands there for a minute. Sure. <laughs> Nothing creepy about that. Oh, no. Oh. Put your hand down. My pants. <laughs> Go on, help yourself. I can't. You'll have to get closer to... No, I can't. no, no. If you could just lean into my hand with your ass, that would... <laughs> We'll take a break if you could. We'll be right back. If you could. Sponsored by Energizer Max Batteries with Power Seal Technology. Chaps. tonight in a very unusual turn of events the rear end of the horse is going to be featured today yes yes very talented very talented multifaceted the yeah i don't know it's uh, i i feel like there's uh well never mind i what's the what's the front what are you gonna what's the front end gonna do just hang out note it look at the trees back there maybe enjoy the landscape do some how come how come it's i'll pretend i'm somebody on the internet right how come it's daytime out there and it's nighttime out there? <laughs> Shut up, Hufflepuff. Yeah, man. Had enough of that crap, man. Don't question what we do on this show. Who are you talking to? Talking to talking to everyone. Talking to the world, man. Are you talking to the horses' ass? Everybody, yeah. I'm yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, that's right. Hey! Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hello, is that other Jeff? Yeah, it's me, man. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, man? I'm getting tired of the other Jeff. Uh, is he... Is, what's going on over there, man? Nothing, man. Nothing. It's a wrong number. I'm okay. just giving them the directions to uh, Planet Hollywood. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Uh, that's not, that's that's not around thing? anymore. I don't think that... Is that a gone? Is that... Yeah, I don't know. Is that a thing? Do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. was it. Sylvester Stallone and... And Schwarzenegger. Uh, Schwarzenegger and uh, yeah, they, Willis, they all had a restaurant. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah who, who doesn't want to eat with those guys? <laughs> Yeah. Do you remember there was fashion cafe in New York as well, like the supermodels all had the restaurant? Like, who the 
Gorky. What's the Ewa Supermodel League? Nobody. Nobody. They get three peas and a line of coke? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Hang on a second. I'm just, I'm just talking to somebody here. I got here. it. I got it. Yeah. So, other Jeff, I need you to uh, get fired up. Hey, man. Uh, you want me to? You know, take him out. I'm gonna do a, do a job for you. Take care of him. What's going on? What the hell? Nothing, man. No, all right, it's all good. All right. We're good. It's yeah, okay, I got it. Right. Yeah, yeah, I want him unplugged. Okay. Is that a is that a sex thing or what? The, hello. No, just uh, res respect the turtle. Okay, yeah. all right, I got it. All right, thank you. Yeah, that was weird. Please, that's enough of that. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tonight's tweet mail time. Brought to you by respecttheturtle.com. Log on and come out of your shell. My first guest tonight is a big time actor, a writer, director. His latest film is Chef. Chef, not Jeff. Chef. It's in theaters now. Take a look at this. They're sending me messages. They're goading me into responding don't to it. Don't do that. Do it, man. Don't Say respond. Don't have to take the high road. It's fine. Yeah, but half the people are saying he's right. Yeah, but, but half the people are saying he's wrong. That's the internet. Hey, 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 what are you doing? This don't guy. do it. What are, you, what are you writing? Chef, don't. That's not a good idea. Just listen. I won't send it until we all say it's okay. Why don't you come by again tonight? I got a whole new menu just for you. Oh, no, no. That's man. not good. Hey, give, me give me the phone. Give me the phone. Don't do it. <laughs> That's out there now. What so happens? Why do you do you that? You can't take that back. You know what? I threw down the gauntlet. John Favreau, everybody! John to sound a little bit sarcastic now, actually. <laughs> hey, uh, I like you got a kind of Johnny Cash vibe. Do I? Yeah, you know, kind of man in black. <laughs> but with glasses, so kind of like, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thinking man in black. Yeah, no, you look yeah. good, man. It's kind of dramatic. Yes. Well, in a kind of the sad events, what? or happy events of the day, you always have me on, like, are we allowed to discuss this? Because Disc this Discuss this what, John? This is... <laughs> I don't know what just happened for the last two weeks, so it could be really well, sad if you or really happy. Your, if you want to discuss your blackout alcohol problem, John, how, how did my movie do? Uh, <laughs> is it a hit? Right. I don't know. It's well, it's, people went crazy for it. But, but in all seriousness, should should we cover ourselves a little bit by covering our mouths, and then we can loop in and and whatever we want to say? Yeah, you like can't, you can't loop a live show, John. <laughs> So I got anyway, look, tell me about the movie. Uh, it's uh, it's about uh, a chef. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you did your research. This is uh, the I did. Look, I, I got the soundtrack and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's about a guy who's a chef in uh, in Los Angeles. He ends up, much like you're talking about, finding himself uh, not excited about what he's doing and uh, cooking food that he doesn't really feel challenged by. He gets ripped apart by a reviewer. He gets into a Twitter war with a critic and loses his job and decides to buy a food truck uh, with his son and with his buddy from uh, from the kitchen they go cross country and he, he finds his vision again as a uh as a chef, chef. Because these guys are artists. You know the guys who are the real chefs. Have you have you ever chefed up? Do you, I mean, yeah, well, I, I, chef? I trained a lot uh, with, really? with chefs. Yeah, there's a guy named Roy Choi who started the food truck. Food truck. He's got a place yeah. called. Uh, he's got a truck called the Kogi truck, and he put me through the paces. He wanted it to look me to look authentic in the film, and I love that world. I love the the personalities. Uh, well, what's a Kogi? Is a Kogi a type of thing? Kogi's a type of thing. What is it then? It's a uh, it's a barbecue Korean barbecue mixed with. Mexican taco truck. Hey, that sounds it's awesome. It's really good. Yeah, that's it's my really type good. of thing. Yeah. Also sends if this bit. had been two weeks ago, I could have had a truck here, maybe. But being that it's... Wait, first of all... <laughs> why two weeks ago and not now? now? Now that the movie's made so much money, well, you can bring the truck. 
in light of current events, and we all know what I'm talking about. Well, I hope we do, because if there's one thing I care about, it's being current. <laughs> I noticed there wasn't a lot of topical humor in the, in the monologue. There's not a lot of humor in the monologue, never mind topical humor. Why bother doing any of that? So, uh, the, you're, this is kind of different for you. You've been making yeah. bigger movies. I've been making while. sure I was doing the Iron Man movies yeah. and Cowboys and Aliens and yeah. Iron Man 2 and... Yeah, I love the Iron Man movies. Thank you. I remember... I remember when you did uh, the first Iron Man movie, you announced that it was Robert Downey Jr. on the yes, show, remember? Yes, yes, that's right. And it, it's been doing okay. Yes, thanks to this show. <laughs> <laughs> I have this show to thank. Well, that's it, because without this show, these movies would have made no money at all. And, <laughs> and you would have had no jokes for your monologue. Well, so. I don't have any anyway. <laughs> so you've done, are you doing Iron Man Four? No, it would be. They're doing Avengers 2 now. Or Avengers 2. That I'm an executive producer on, and they're sh filming still in London as of two weeks ago. Right. Um, <laughs> not sure what's going on now in light of current events. Yeah, yeah, no, let it go, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so they're still shooting what? Uh, uh, as of two weeks ago, they're shooting Avengers. And Avengers, right? Very well, yeah, yeah. But you get a piece. You must be loaded, now. I must so be. Oh, well, you too. Money. Oh yeah, too. I'm, I'm, I'm wealthier than a sultan. <laughs> I can afford, I, I've got a backup robot for my robot. You do? Got, yeah! Well, you, you got a horse since got, last time I, I, I was I got there. a fleet of horses. That's nice. I, I would have killed for that gig a few years ago. And I'm talking about the back half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the back half actually has a screenplay he wants you to have. <laughs> You get a lot of you now do you try to be kind? I think I've read a few of yeah, his yeah, already, yeah. 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 No, but listen, when you were struggling back in the day, yeah, you'd yeah. be trying to get your screenplay to people and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Are you kind to people that do that to you sure, now? Sure, I try to be, but you know, it's very difficult because especially as a director, there's only so many movies you could do and I try like 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 Chef I wrote myself and it yeah. was something where I got struck by an idea and I and I and I wrote it pretty quickly and and I'm lucky now that I'm in a position to get something made. But right. but if somebody hands me a script, it's not like um. And you can't take it because then they'll say they'll say I you took stole the their idea. ideas, yeah. Especially if they hand it to me in the future. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I like the theme because it goes with the whole X Men movie. That's yeah, yeah. Days yeah. of Future you Past. Get some money for the X Men? No, that's that's a different studio. Yeah, but you do you just get the money anyway? Sure. <laughs> Yeah, give him some money anyway. Why the hell not? As of January, I want you representing me. Uh, I'm available. Yeah, I, so. know. <laughs> I don't know, though. I'm cold. I don't know if I can. I do. I do have a screen, please. No, 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 it's fine. So listen, in the soundtrack, right, on the DVD, you yeah. still use uh, the CDs. That's a CD, CD. that's a, a digital CD. copy. But well, they look the same, DVDs and CDs, they look the same. Yes. Oh, no, it's a CD, but there's also available for digital. But I, I might want to point out that Robert Downey Jr., who's in the film, yeah. designed the cover for us. So he's mm -hmm. a, actually a graphic artist as well. So, and he gets a little money. Oh, oh for everything. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. He's now so successful, they just make a movie and they give him money. And no matter what movie it is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's good. There's like a, the uh, Muppet movie. Yes, he got most of that. There was a <laughs> there was a venereal disease video that they were showing at the army base that he's got. Yeah, yeah. Well, any more. To be fair, that's a you know that's an old project that he was working on back <laughs> in the day. Was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's lost. He's done well done with that. No, he's, yeah, he's yeah, a he's clean cut good. man. Thanks to the announcement on this show, he's uh, he's really done a lot. Yeah, he's you know I I feel I saved his career. You did, <laughs> you did, you did. So I was lucky. He's in it. Um, uh, Scarlett Johansson also, who's not very nice. talented. She's in the lady. film. She's yeah, yeah. So, so. It was, and then, guys, I've noticed with this audience, if you say the name of someone famous, they just applaud. That's good. Well, there's, uh, a, there's a lot in my movie. Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. John Leguizamo, Sofia Vergara, yeah. Bobby right Bobby back John Favreau, whatever. Can I just say, I, I was just talking. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss this show so much because the, I, I, there's no show where I I look forward to it so much. It's so effortless. You're such a great conversationalist. All kidding aside, I mean, this has been ten years, you know, and uh, just as somebody who does a lot of these types of things, it's just always been 
it, it's always something I look forward to. You're such a, a natural conversationalist, well, and you make it you make it easy on us. And mm -hmm. I just let's let's hear it for the guy. I mean, you put will agree to appear in the upcoming Iron Man 4 movie. <laughs> I'll be, uh, Scotto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of a villain, you know. Uh, his powers are yeah. uh, Shrek-like powers. What's your, what's your character in How to Train Your Dragon? I, I play Gobber, the dragon trainer. The huh? dragon trainer? Yeah, yeah, it's a very important character. It was in the first one. I made oh, upwards of 40 bucks on that movie. Yeah. That How did the second one do when it came out? It's not out yet. Ah! <laughs> No, sure? it's not out till the middle of June sometime. You never know. What do you mean? Yeah, I do know. It's, <laughs> it's a giant movie. It's a dream world. It's a huge movie. Catch no, 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 you never... no way that movie's not coming out. Don't even say that. No, to me, you man. never know when the show's going to be on. Well, this show? Yeah. I don't think this show is going to make it to the same. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, are you in therapy? Uh, am I in therapy right now? I feel like I am. Well, uh, you want to get into it? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Why do you hate America? <laughs> I love America. Oh, really? <laughs> they goes, yeah, of course I do. Okay. I'm from here. <laughs> no, I'm from here. I, I'm just. Uh oh. Wait, you mean, I, uh, <laughs> no, no, I was just that. Yeah. Are you in therapy though? Uh, <laughs> I, I will be after no, this. No, no, I. I go, I go to therapy because I had a really, I had a really weird dream, and then I realized it was actually a talk show appearance. Did you? <laughs> Did you ever dream you were the Prime Minister of Australia? <laughs> no. I no. dreamt that one. Did you? Yeah. I dreamt that there was a horse's ass looking through a door and a, and, and, and a, and a post-apocalyptic robot yeah. with black eyes. This is, like a, this is like a weird nightmare cross with Pee Wee's Playhouse. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we really are out of time, so... Uh, it was, hey, look, buddy, it was a pleasure, pleasure being here, and, uh, and best of luck on all your endeavors. If I don't see you again before, uh, before or, or, or December. Again. Ever. We'll see each other again. Well, I don't know, man. Well, I, that, no. would be, that would be sad. And, and How to Train Your Dragon 2, I will be there, and I will train my dragon watching you train others. It's kind of, mmm, it's like a fresh mint. Oh. Sexy fresh mint. Right. With chocolate on it. Uh-huh. It's a peppermint patty. Is it a peppermint patty? I guess so. It certainly is a delicious biscuit of some Hooray! kind. How are you? You look good. Oh, I, can I just tell you how mad my mother is at you right now? Why? Because you're leaving. Not your mother. We're still <laughs> together. <laughs> you guys, she'll be happy to hear that. Yeah. But there's, there's nothing cool about you leaving, you know Yes, that. there is something very cool about leaving. Explain. Well, first of all, if I, you want to do something and then people say, hey, do that, and then you go, nah, and then you go, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> Did anybody else understand that? Okay, okay. all right, good. I'm that's glad called, I'm that's called, flat. well, you left the uh, Buzz. Yeah, Radio I left, show. Yeah. What was the, the name of the show again? Yeah, who cares? Okay. <laughs> Are you going to do this one? Maybe I that have would to. Be nice. Have you warmed up the seat for me? Do you need a warm seat? Uh huh. Yeah, you can. Ha you can have it. Do you want? Do you want to audition? Yeah. Come on in. Oh uh, yeah, I'll do the ha ha. All right. 
right, man. If you feel you can handle a snake, then you go right ahead. Ooh. That's sparkly. Yes, it is. Wow. Yes, it is. I had no idea what late night felt like, but now I do. Well, here, no, 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 you haven't even started yet, right? So I've just arrived, right? And I'm the guest. Hey, hey. Hi, Jeff. Hey, uh, hey. hey. The horse over there, hey. <laughs> Tell me, tell me about all the stuff you have going on. Big project. Yeah, I got a big project and it's coming up right. And it's, everyone in the movie loved it. Clooney was like, "Ah, oh, yeah!" And everyone was great. And then everyone was coming over. And then everybody in show business is nice to each other, and no one is a bastard. <laughs> We know that's not true. You're pretty good at this. <laughs> and and George Clooney's getting married now. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. W are you are you a little bummed out that it wasn't you? Well, get married to George Clooney. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't want to marry George Clooney? Well, straight guys. <laughs> no, 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 nope, nope. I have it on. Even, even straight guys want to marry very, George Clooney. Yep, very good authority that straight men also would like to have sex and marry George Clooney. <laughs> You know, here's the thing, though, Gary. If, if you're a man and you like having sex with another man, it, 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 there's a problem in describing yourself as straight. <laughs> Look, I'm not judging. I'm not judging at all. I'm, and I'm not trying to put labels on people, but, you know, it just in the, in the way that it helps people understand what you're, what you're about and your sexuality and stuff. If you say, you know, well, I'm straight, but I'm a man and I like to have sex with other man, man you know, there, there's conflicting messages there. <laughs> What's that coming? I go. <laughs> Just one. Just one. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Could you say that again slower? I don't I don't think I, I can. Oh, no, it's fine. I, I do have a harmonic <laughs> You're afraid I'll get lipstick all over. No, right? no, I'm a, I just don't think you should put my organ in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, I'm fine with wherever you want to put it. Uh, this, this literally is the dirtiest show. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty dirty. You've I'm been pretty... fluffing the audience. You've been respecting the turtle. You were shaving the horse. Look at him over there. He yeah, can't yeah. get enough of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some nights it just goes that way. I, I guess know, so. I guess I'm that's... glad it's the nights that I'm well, here. Well, let me ask you this. Then why is it such a popular show with your mother, Carrie King? Yeah. You know what? You pretty much rock. I was very clever. I was very clever. You have always been my favorite late night guy. Always. One of them? No. You have always been my the, favorite. The favorite late... Well, I describe late night then. Is there earlier in the night that counts as... Like Anything what? after five. So we're including Mario Lopez? I mean... I do love myself some Mario Lopez. Oh, who doesn't? But Even straight guys want to... Well, no, no, no. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, Jeff, uh, one of us has got to throw, because uh, uh, Carrie is now uh, leaving her late night job. And you're doing... Oh, this is it. You're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We'll be back with more Late Late Show after this. <laughs> yeah! say I thought your work tonight was excellent. And when I say you, I don't mean you. Oh, I didn't know you had an expression. So you, you did fine, big fella, but I'm talking about your other end. <laughs> you tonight... Were I, I, just extraordinary. I, I thought, you know, the way you were able to convey the emotion without anything other than what you've got there. Just extraordinary. I, I think that you are perhaps one of the more talented actors I've ever worked with. And let me just tell you, sitting here talking to you, looking at this, 
<laughs> it's really like it. There's a lot of guests this reminds me of, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Jeff? What the hell's going on over there? Uh, I'm just talking to yet another horse's ass on yeah. a late night television program. Yeah. <laughs> you know, stop wiggling like I, I'm only human. Can you twerk? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm right, sorry, I don't have a dollar. <laughs> Is this for flies? <laughs> I like that both ends nod. It's like, it's like the whole creature is in unison. Oh, of course it is. It's a horse. They're... Yeah, it's a fake horse, I, uh... You know, when you do that over the shoulder uh, look, it's like uh, actresses on the red carpet. You know when they, when they do that thing? Let's do that before we finish the show. Come over here. Then we'll break... Hey, you all right? <laughs> Now we'll face this way and then we'll look over our shoulders like it's a red carpet. Alright, a red carpet event. You ready? And here we go. <laughs> 